In 2017, the ministry identified the need to automate the fleet management business process. The acting executive director of the Ministry of Mines and Energy, Brian Asep, said the ministry views the fleet management system as a government asset that would contribute towards the promotion of e-services and innovation in terms of ICT strategies. If one considers the management of assets, government assets especially, across various ministries and in government, fleet management is but one of those ways that we can manage the assets of government and be accountable to government in terms and the public at large. Andreas Mtota, the chief analyst programmer at the ministry, who developed the system in his system demonstration, said that the skill sets are available with public service and their government should encourage innovation and skills transfer to further enhance the movement data security. The system also aims at standardizing government fleet management process to improve service delivery transparency. The Deputy Minister of Mines and Energy, Cornelia Shilunga, in her keynote address, commended the developer of the system and highlighted the functionalities of the system. The fleet management system has several functionalities to keep track of vehicles' information, and these include vehicle maintenance, vehicle license management, vehicle accident reporting management, pool vehicle management, vehicle inspection management, vehicle expenses trafficking, tracking traffic fines, tracking trip authority and automated reports. The fleet management system enables the users to manage vehicle information, including having fast access to shared information through a designed and centralized database system that eliminates data redundancy and increase flexibility. Shilunga added that it is her wish as a deputy minister that the fleet management system shall be implemented across all government offices, including other public institutions. <laughs>